We've been looking at some of those common threads that the people who God has used in a mighty way have had in common. We talked about how God sent these windows of opportunity across our life, and the people who died through those windows, no matter how scary it looks, are the people who God uses in a mighty way to make radical transformation in this world. Last week we talked about having an intimate and powerful prayer life and that we could see across the board that these people like Martin Luther King, like Billy Graham, like uh, um, all people throughout history, the Apostle Paul, I mean, we can go on and on and on forever, but the people who God used in a mighty way shared these things. Uh, and all of this is obviously through the lens of God's grace, because none of us anywhere can do anything that great without God giving us the grace to be able to do so. Uh, but the simple reality remains that there are some Christians who practice these things and are used mightily in this world by God, and there are others who simply don't and simply aren't used in that sort of way. Uh, so what is the difference? I think that the core of our weakness in this life is our inability to think great thoughts and dream great dreams. I mean, just in this city, you see people all day walk around uh, with like this cloud over their head looking like Eeyore, just complaining constantly like, oh man, the Browns will never do anything, the, the school system sucks here, the, you know, I can't stand the weather, guess that's just Cleveland, you know, the Indians are going to blow it. <laughs> And year after year after year, they do blow it because the enemy has us so stuck in this loser mentality that time after time after time, not just with that petty stuff, but in our own lives, we find ourselves falling short of the mark and falling right back into that Eeyore mentality. 